Recently, it seems like more and more people are cutting nuts out of their diet, with one of the top reasons being due to their high fat and high calorie content. And for those wanting to lose weight, this would seem to be a logical decision. However, this study looked at the diets of over 8,500 men and women over 28 months, and researchers found that those who ate two or more portions of nuts a week had a 31% lower risk of weight gain compared to those who never or rarely ate them. Nuts also have impressive effects on cholesterol and triglyceride levels. They also have strong anti-inflammatory properties and may reduce inflammation. In this study on the Mediterranean diet, people whose diets were supplemented with nuts experienced a 35% and 90% decrease in the inflammatory markers C-reactive protein and interleukin-6, respectively. But according to Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, those with advanced heart disease should avoid eating nuts. But for the rest of us, is this really a good idea? Well, let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger. I do indeed have a whole section on nuts in the new book. So nuts are one of the healthiest foods out there. In fact, you know, Walt Willett, the most uh, cited nutrition professional in human history, who is chair of the Harvard Nutrition Department, was asked what uh, some of the greatest nutrition discoveries were um, of his lifetime. Um, and he said, the discovery from the Adventist studies that nuts were so good for us. One of two foods alone associated with literally adding years to one's life. Nuts, an ounce a day, a palm full a day of nuts, or dark green leafy vegetables. The only two foods that have been shown alone, regardless of what else is eaten, adding literally years to one's life. Um, so there will be future discussion of nuts in my next book, How Not to Age, which will be out in December 2022. 20, okay, the critical piece that the weight loss book adds that How Not to Die doesn't is we want to eat our nuts whole or chopped up, not as nut butters or seed butters. Because, again, we are walling off our calories. And so nuts, no matter how well you chew them, end up with these little microscopic particles, or even less microscopic particles, that then pass right through you, containing tens of thousands of little oil-filled cells that never make it into your body. And so, uh, you know, a calorie may still be a calorie circling your toilet bowl, but it's not going to end up on your hips. You look at a, at a nutrition label of a bag of nuts or whatever, you can take 20% off. 20% off any calories. And so that's one of the reasons why you don't get the expected weight gain. You would be eating nuts. However, not the same with almond butter or peanut butter or tahini because then you get all the calories because you've broken open all those cell walls. Um, and so that would be the difference. From, from a longevity standpoint, it doesn't matter if you eat almond butter or almonds. But from a weight loss standpoint, if you're trying to lose weight, I would stick to the almonds and not the almond butter. This study analysed nut consumption in over 76,000 participants of the Nurses' Health Study and the 42,000 men in the Health Professionals' Follow-Up Study and found that compared with participants who did not eat nuts, those who consumed nuts seven or more times per week had a 20% lower death rate. Daily nut consumers had fewer cancer deaths, heart disease deaths and fewer deaths from respiratory disease. The researchers considered 28 grams, or one ounce, of nuts as a serving, which is roughly one handful of nuts. What's also impressive is this analysis of 36 studies, including over 30,000 patients, found that frequent consumption of nuts was associated with a decreased risk of developing cancer, in particular colon, pancreatic and endometrial cancer. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up Leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.